Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. I'm going to do an Aries Love Prediction reading for July 5th through July 11th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else in your love space energy as well. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a like or a subscription. I would be most honored, most humbled, and I'm always very, very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, fearless, kind-hearted, loyal Aries. Show me what's going on with my Aries. Show me, Spirit Guys, what's going on with my Aries. Let's see what you got going on, Aries. Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords, and Eight of Pentacles. Please keep in mind, take the time to listen to the read. This is just the first part of the read where I just lay down the cards. The second part of the read is where I give you the true story with clarification of the cards. So sit back and relax if, you, if this is your read and listen to the read. But Aries, who are you tied to? That you can't get away from. Because that eight of swords. That eight of swords means that you are tied to someone. Someone has you on. Hey you are tied to them. When I say tied. You can leave at any moment. But you're not about to leave. Not only are you not about to leave. You're about to ask for their hand in marriage. You are about to ask for their hand in marriage. This is a four of wands card. Four of wands means engagement. It means marriage. It means asking for someone's hand in marriage possibly. It's also a soulmate card. See the four, two columns here and two columns there, which is 1111. Soulmate card too. This person is your person because you have the queen of cups. You trust this person. This person nurtures you. You go to this person. You tell them everything and they keep it close to their chest. They are very emotional. They bring the emotion to you. They love on you the right way. You um, are very much entwined with this person. But here's the deal. You got the two of swords here, which means that even though you are saying you want to be engaged with them, and they are your person. You, They know how to touch you. They know how to talk to you. They know how to please you. They know how to take care of you. They know how to do everything for you. But there's some indecisiveness going on here. There's some indecisiveness because you have the two of swords here. You have the two of swords here. Two of swords means that you're indecisive about this. It's almost to the point. And this is just what I see with this read. That they give you so much goodness that I think that. You almost need someone to just kind of be a little bit of an itch to you. Excuse the expression, but a little bit of put the B in front of it. You, or you need an energy. doesn't have to be a, a woman. Or it could be a man. Or, but you need someone that um, is not always there for you. Someone that you got to work on being with. Because you have this Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles means you, you're working on the situation. You're working on... Possibly if you're going to make the right decision. I'm not saying that you don't want to be with them. They are perfect for what you think. But see, I, I almost think with this read that you are seeking someone that gives you just a little bit more. You know, that's just not always just gives you everything. Yeah, they're good to you. They're a friend to you. They do all the above. But you almost are looking either for a bad boy or you're looking for... It, it doesn't have to be totally bad boy. Don't give me a thumbs down, Aries. But someone that just... Gives you a little tension in your life. Everything is not always easy going. Or someone, a female, that is a little bit of an itch to you. You know, that makes you work hard on that thing. Makes you work hard. That you just don't, they just don't lay down for you. This is what I see. I think this is a tale of two different people. But let me see. Or two different people that, that's why you're indecisive that you want. Um, and you don't actually have that with this person. Even though you're tied to this person, you can't leave this person because you do, you do um, really love them. And you do want to ask for their hand in marriage, but I think they're lacking just something. You know, you want this person, but you want some other person too. Maybe you want this person to possess those things. You want them to give you a little trouble sometimes. That's kind of, I think, what you think keeps keeps the relationship going. Right, Aries? So anyway, let's see. Let's see why this Eight of Swords. Let me clarify these cards. Let me see why this Eight of Swords is here for my Aries. Show me why the Eight of Swords is here for Aries. Ah, the High Priestess. Um, this could be a Pisces person too, um, but this is um, 
the high priestess. The high priestess is a card of intuition. It's a card of just seeing. And I think with this situation, you see and you know that you can have goodness with this person. I'm sorry, the high priestess can be Pisces, but uh, Pisces is also the moon card. So forgive me for that, but it can also be the high priestess card as well. But the major arcana is the moon card for the high priestess. But with the eight of swords here, with the high priestess, you see into the future with this person. I think you have great intuition when it comes to this person. And what I say, and I don't even say into the future, but you just have great intuition when it comes to this person. Because you see them as being a great wife or a great husband. I mean, it's not like they aren't. But... There's something that you want and that you need. So let's see. Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Four of Wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Oh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So this person, together with this person, maybe they have money or maybe you see your intuition tells you that they can, you guys can grow money together. That you guys will be a great, uh, maybe a power couple if you get together. Um, they are, um, because you, it is over this engagement card. And you see possibly being with them with that intuition card there. That they possibly either have money or they can help you grow your money. Or you guys can have money together. So let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Show me why this Queen of Cups is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the Queen of Cups here for my Aries? Show me why the Queen of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Uh, you have the Eight of Wands. Yes, you're having conversations with them. Because like I said, you have great conversations with them. This is nothing new. But you're having spirited conversations with them now. Because I think you are beginning to let them know, I do want to marry you. Um, but there are some things that... I think we need to talk about, but either way it goes, you've had spirited conversations with this person. Like I said, whatever conversations you have with them, they're there for you. They are there for you. Um, and you have been having spirited conversations with them because I think you want to move to the next level, but you're just not sure. You're just not sure. Maybe you're not sure because you don't know if they're going to keep your interest from now until the end of time. So let's see why the two of swords is there. Maybe they let you get away with crap and they don't need to. Maybe they need to stand their ground and that's the conversations that you guys are having. So let's see. Um, Aries likes people to stand up to them. They don't like that when someone's a pushover to them. Don't, don't let them push you over. They don't like that. That doesn't, uh, mm, it just doesn't work. Don't give me a thumbs down. I understand Aries, but that's just the way you guys are. So you have the two of swords. Show me, you got the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Ah, you've got this four of wands. Uh, excuse me. You've got the five of wands. You've got the five of wands because you're having conflict. You're having conflict. Like I said, you're having conflict with this person. You're having conflict because... You're telling them what you need and what you want. And you're also letting them know that you're indecisive because they're not necessarily giving you what you need and what you want. And I think you're having conflict with the, this person because of that indecisiveness. They're ready to move to the next level with you too. Let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Show me. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? You have the Four of Wands again. Because you want to be with them and you want to be married to them, but you're just not sure. Let's start at the beginning. You start with the Eight of Swords. You're tied to this person. Yes, you are. You can walk at any moment, but you're not walking. You see great things. You have intuition when it comes to this person that this is going to be, if you marry this person, if you engage, if you offer an engagement, this is going to be a great partnership. You guys could be a power couple, possibly. Queen of Cups, like I said, is a person that you have come to and taken everything. They are nurturers. They have great love. Their emotions. They bring everything and lay it on the table, they let you know how they feel. You're having spirited conversations with them, though, because you do want to go to the next level. But, however, you're indecisive. You're indecisive because, as I said, and the Five of Wands is here, which is a card of there's conflict going on with you guys. And I think it's conflict going on with, with both you and them, but also within yourself. Because your conflict is, is that you need someone to not be there, just be a pushover all the time. And the Queen of Cups... It's a good energy. It's a great energy. But you need someone to give you some, you know, hey, 
to, to stand up to you. And I don't think they stand up to you. This is the Eight of Pentacles, which means you have to work on this situation if you want to be with them. But you also have the Four of Wands again, which means that you still are in that marriage. You still are thinking about marriage with them. Let's see. Let's see what the Angel Oracle cards have to say. Show me Angel Oracles. What do they say? What do the Angel Oracle cards have to say? Let's see. Okay. They say ease and grace. Ease and grace. So in other words, be cool. Stand back. Have grace with this situation. Tell them what you need. Maybe it'll happen. But I know what you want and what you have already. That's what I have for your love prediction reading. 